All right, let me demonstrate how I am mounting my thermal electric cooler with a 40 millimeter water block on one side and this aluminum flashing on the other side. So it's all around this 3D printed bracket, although if you don't have a 3D printer, you could just take a piece of wood and drill two holes at the appropriate spots. I use this bracket to drill the holes in the flashing. You just clamp it to the flashing with a block of wood underneath and drill through. Same thing with this aluminum and strengthening block I'm going to use on the front of the flashing. The reason for the aluminum and block here is that the flashing is pretty flexible. And so if you just bolt this thing on, it's going to bend the flashing away from your thermoelectric cooler. Now, the nice thing about the 3D printed mount is it has this bottom part here. Um, and what that allows you to do is it sits just slightly proud of the water block so it can hold on to the thermoelectric cooler. So it will hold the thermoelectric cooler in place while you're positioning it. Now in actual usage, you'd be covering the front and the back of this with thermal grease to get a really good thermal connection to both the water block and your cold side. Uh, I'm just going to be assembling it here. So because the flashing is so thin, I'm using this heavy piece of aluminum in here on the front. You could use an aluminum heat sink if you wanted extra fins on the front. Um, it's not really necessary. If you had, if you're bolting this to a thick piece of aluminum and you wouldn't need a separate piece. I'm using nylon hardware because that conducts minimal heat um, away from my cold side to the hot side. there is this thermal gap right there and the only thing bridging that thermal gap is the nylon screw and that goes into the plastic bracket here as well. Um, in actual use there's going to be a piece of polyiso insulation around this unit and then all of the tiny little holes where air could flow around is going to be sealed up using an expanding foam. So this will be down around that and we're going to be filling this with expanding foam to basically get that gap completely sealed and so that's how it's going to um, isolate the cold side from the thermal block and ambient.